Hello, in this video, we're going to discuss why a petrol subsidy can be bad for you and why the government should not always reduce fuel or power prices. Firstly, a petrol subsidy places a heavy financial burden on the government. This money could be better used to invest in infrastructure or social programs that benefit the population in the long run. Additionally, subsidies are often funded through borrowing, which can lead to inflation and further economic instability. Secondly, a petrol subsidy can lead to overconsumption of fuel and power, which can lead to wasteful consumption and higher carbon emissions. This can contribute to environmental problems such as air pollution and climate change, as well as further strain on the country's finite natural resources. Thirdly, a petrol subsidy can distort the market and hurt the competitiveness of domestic industries. This can lead to job losses and reduced economic growth in the long run. Finally, a petrol subsidy can lead to corruption and inefficiency in the energy sector. This is because subsidies create incentives for smuggling and black market activities, which can lead to revenue loss for the government and further economic instability. In conclusion, while a petrol subsidy may seem like a good idea in the short term, it can have negative long-term consequences for the economy and the population. The government should focus on improving the efficiency and transparency of the energy sector, as well as investing in renewable energy sources to create a sustainable energy future. This will not only benefit the economy but also the environment and the health of the population. Thank you for watching.